Let me go. A few facts. Uh, I want to make sure I'm looking into the camera. A few facts about Iowa. Much of Iowa's economy comes from farming. This is probably the most famous piece of art from the state, and it's the first state to vote for presidential candidates. In case you didn't know, Iowa gains nationwide attention because it's the first state to hold an election that determines who will be the presumptive nominee for the Democratic and Republican parties for president. On February 3rd, Iowa holds its 2020 Democratic Presidential Caucus. Right now, it's looking like it's going to be a battle between five people. Former Vice President Joe Biden, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and Senators Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and Amy Klobuchar. With Senators Klobuchar, Sanders, and Warren stuck in Washington to participate in the Senate impeachment trial of President Trump, Biden and Buttigieg appear to be at an advantage where retail politics, such as town halls and meet and greets, are the keys to victory. Obviously, winning the Iowa caucuses is a big deal for any presidential hopeful, as this is what gave Barack Obama, who then became president in 2008, a much needed boost over odds on favorite Hillary Clinton for the Democratic nomination. But again, it doesn't mean everything for the presumptive candidate. It isn't always the best indicator uh, for the presumptive nominee. <clears throat> All right, we can do this one more take. But it isn't always the best indicator for the presumptive nominee. For example, George H.W. Bush came in third in 1988 while he was vice president under Ronald Reagan. Bill Clinton came in fourth in 1992, and Donald Trump came in second to Ted Cruz in 2016. Iowa is not only interesting for the presidential race, but if Democrats show strong favor to any particular candidate, it could spell trouble for the Republican Senator Joni Ernst. Although Ernst is the incumbent, she's incredibly vulnerable in a state that's a quadrennial toss-up in presidential elections. For more on the Iowa caucuses, the 2020 presidential election, and other stories, Go to thewashingtonexaminer.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For The Washington Examiner, I'm Siraj Hashim.